In this video, I'm gonna walk you through three different ways to practice holding that bow. The first is with a water bottle, the second is with a pencil, and the third is, you guessed it, with a bow. All right, but we're gonna start with a water bottle, okay? Now, we all probably perfectly hold our water bottles every single day exactly the way we should hold a bow. Let me show you what I mean. When you go to hold a water bottle, you're not doing this because it would fall. You're not doing this because it would be uncomfortable. And you're probably actually doing something like this, maybe like this. Notice my fingers are evenly spaced apart. There's a natural curve in each finger and it's secure. It's very strong and flexible. I could do this all day. Some of us might. <laughs> all right. So then this is what I want you to do. This is where it maps directly over to how you hold a bow. What I want you to do is then turn the water bottle, take the water bottle away, and then grab your pencil. This is the second way you can practice holding a bow. So take your pencil, and I want you to put it in here on an angle. If you try straight like this, you will not be able to hold it comfortably. But if you can go in on an angle, I want you to line it up with two dots. One is right here on the tip of your pinky, and the other is right here in between this joint and this joint on your index finger, okay? I sometimes refer to this as connecting the dots. So imagine you've got a dot right here on your pinky and right here on your index finger, and then we just connect them, okay? All right, so step one, water bottle. Turn it over. Step two, practice with a pencil. And now, step three, a bow. All right, so here's how it maps directly over. Remember this pencil here, yeah? Okay, check this out. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop that pencil. Don't drop the bow. <laughs> okay, so pinky's gonna sit right here next to our screw there. And then index finger is going to just be relaxed. These four fingers are evenly spaced apart. And then my thumb is gonna sit right there behind my middle finger, sort of between my middle and ring fingers, okay? Now that I've got this awesome, beautiful, sustainable bow hold, I can practice windshield wipers, all right? Back and forth. Can also practice figure eights. Write your name in cursive. Draw a picture, move the air, have some fun, all right? The most important thing is that you get used to holding your bow this way, but in lots of different, lots of different positions, all right? So get a water bottle, get a pencil, find a violin or viola bow. Happy practicing.